what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Oh, hi friends. I'm Pink. Hello, Peyton. Ho, ho. Collecting fun rocks, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We're having so much fun learning about rocks with this book. Learning from books is good. It's true. We can learn even more from Jesus, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Hola friends, I'm Luis Danny Man. <laughs> Look at this dollhouse I'm building for a friend. Do you think you'll like it? <laughs> you know, building this house reminds me of a story Jesus told about something really important we need to remember. Do you want to help me build it? Great! Hammers up, little builders! Ready! Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so like I said, Jesus told this story to teach us something very important. It's about two men who each decided to build a house. One wanted to build it on the sand and one wanted to build it on the rock. Tell me, if you had to choose where you wanted to build your house, would you build it on sand or on rock? Hmm, interesting. Well, let's see what happens. Let's put up the two houses, one on the sand and one on the rock. Both houses look great, and everything was fine, until it started. Do you hear that? Oh, oh it's raining. Ooh, everybody rub your hands together to make the sound of rain. Oh, and it rained harder and harder. Now, pat your legs. What happened to the house on the sand? It fell down. That's right. Oh, the water washed the sand away and the house fell down. What? Look at the house on the rock. It's still standing strong. The water couldn't wash the rock away. <laughs> Jesus told this story because he wanted to teach us how to live and be strong like the house that was built on rock. We can live like Jesus when we love everyone like 
God loves us. And we can treat everyone like they are important to God. We can share and we can help everyone. That is how we can live like our house is built on a rock, just like Jesus teaches us to do. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there is your story, and it's all true. Jesus tells us how to live, so we can be strong in all we do. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Jesus told such an awesome story. When we do what Jesus teaches us, it's like we're building a house on a super strong rock. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. These rocks are cool, but what Jesus teaches us is even more awesome and important. See you next time. Bye. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The crowds were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. Hi friends, welcome to week five. Today's true story, Jesus taught us something very, very important. And you can read about the story in your Bible. The story was about two men who each decided to build a house. One wanted to build a house on sand and one wanted to build a house on rock. Tell me, if you had to choose where to build your house, would you build it on sand or would you build it on a rock? Hmm. Well, the two men went forward with their plans and they built a house. They each built a house. Both houses looked great. But everything was fine until it started to rain. Everybody, rub your hands together like this to make rain. <laughs> Good job. It rained harder and harder and harder and harder. Oh no, it rained so hard. Do you know what happened to the house on the sand? What do you think happened? It fell right down. The water washed the sand away and the house fell down. But guess what happened to the house that was built on the rock? Nothing. It still stood strong. The water couldn't wash the rock away. Jesus told this story because he wanted to teach us how to live and be strong like this house built on rock. We can live like Jesus when we love everyone like God loves us. We can treat everyone like we are important to God because we are, and we can share, and we can help everyone. This is how we can live like our house that is built on a rock, just like Jesus teaches us to do. And I'm so glad that we have a friend like Jesus who teaches us important things. So tell me, friends, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's right. Okay, friends, it's time to pray. Let's talk to God. Put our hands together. Great job. Dear God, thank you for loving us so, so much that you sent Jesus to be our friend forever. Help us to share and help us live like Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. It's time to do go and tell. Stand up, everyone. Here we go. Go and tell. Go and tell. 
Who wants to be your friend, your friend? Who wants to be your friend, Jesus? Who wants to be your friend, your friend? Who wants to be your friend, Jesus? All right, friends, it's been a great month wor worshiping with you and watching these amazing, amazing Bible stories with you. I cannot wait to see you soon. Have a blessed week and we'll see you soon. Bye. Wow, what a great story and what a good God we serve. Before we leave, there's just one more thing that Lucy and I need to do. So get your hand or your forehead and bring them close to the screen for your blessing. Friends, you are a blessing and so very loved by God and by your church family. We hope that you have an amazing week. Bye.